a contaminated refrigerant video. So this Nissan, whatever it is, it's a Nissan, but that's not the fact here. It's a contaminated refrigerant. 16% air. Uh, hydrocarbons, 2.1%. YF, 3%. YF. So this seems like somebody had a machine and they've recovered several vehicles that had different unknown refrigerants in their machine because they said this just came from a shop or something like that somewhere and they went somewhere else to get it checked out because the AC wasn't working right Jesus I wonder why um, this is why by the Bureau of Automotive Repair in California as of last year in 2018 it is mandated you must have you have to have you have no choice you have to have a refrigerant identifier now and I always put a printout with every invoice for sales receipts of what came out of their vehicle and this is a one of the better ones so this is exactly why you never want to do business with anybody who doesn't have one of these because then they come around and what the other shop noticed they said the high side was really high and it's probably overcharged too and if this truly is 16 percent air in there your high side at 16 percent your high side will be higher too uh this is where this is why you always have an extra container just for mixed contaminated refrigerants and that's what this is for i charge an extra 60 dollars for pulling out contaminated refrigerant a lot of guys will say oh, i just vented to the air uh there's no reason why you don't and should not have an extra container and uh, be able to recover this. And my equipment does not get damaged by any sealers. So no matter what kind of sealer is in a car's AC system, because I don't buy that garbage that's sold to the automotive market that does get damaged by the really thick, bad AC sealants, mine does not because I don't buy that stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't. Um, so I'm gonna go run this. Let's see what the pressures are. I'll cut this video now. There'll be a second video on this one. We'll just look at the pressures before uh, I recover the system. That's it. We'll get back to this. And these are the guys you never want to go to. Anybody who does air conditioning and they don't have one of these and use it on every vehicle, turn around, leave the shop, never return. At least for air conditioning. They might be great at brakes. They might be great at tune-ups. But AC, hit the road and go look somewhere else.